So typically, a URL or a URI, um, the most important part is the domain. So in this example, uh, google.com, very familiar. Um, .com is the top level domain. Um, there are a lot of these, um, .com, .org, .net, .edu, uh, which can indicate the type of website or even the, the country of origin. So like .uk would be a Great Britain website. Um, and then the next one behind that is the actual domain. And then uh, in front of that is the subdomain. Um, so the domain is the main thing that, uh, that you're usually thinking about what you're getting at. And the subdomain can be um, sort of like an entire website on its own that is uh, a part of, of the domain, but um, you know, on its own little area. It used to be that um, servers, uh, way back in the day when the internet was not really the World Wide Web yet, servers would have lots of stuff on them. Um, and Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. He was hoping that people would put all of their web pages in the www domain. So that's why you see a lot of times www.domainname.com. Um, because it's indicating that this is the uh, World Wide Web uh, part of the domain. And uh, nowadays, the, the World Wide Web is the most important part of the internet, so we don't really do that anymore. Um, now, kind of like subdomains, you just kind of assume that they're going to be on the World Wide Web, and you use it to divvy it up. So for example, on maps.google.com, it's the Maps website on Google to distinguish it from other parts of Google. This first part here, HTTP, is the protocol. The protocol is uh, basically the language that the browser and the server are using to communicate all this data. Stands, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, so hypertext like HTML, hypertext markup language. Um, so there's a couple other ones. Uh, another one you may run into is FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, which you'll use for uploading your uh, web pages to a server. Um, and so you need to specify how they're going to actually be talking. So this just establishes the language. This establishes uh, the type of website, the, the domain itself, uh, like basically what, where the server is, although now it could be many servers, and uh, the subdomain. Um, now, I have also given an example of an IP address here. Um, you don't always have to use the domain. You can just use uh, the IP address. Every server has one. Every domain has one. Um, these aren't necessarily going to always be the same. So this is the IP address for Google right now. Um, you may type it in later, and it might not work anymore. They may have changed it. Um, but they, they each have their own uses. Usually, you just stick to the, to the domain.